Indian villagers take oath to boycott Muslims. A video has recently been making the rounds on social media in which several men from a village in this Indian state of, um, this is so hard for me to say, uh, Chhattisgarh, Chat- Chat- are seen making a public Nail oath. It. <laughs> are seen making a public oath to quote unquote boycott Muslims. In the video, they are heard declaring, quote, we Hindus will not buy goods from any Muslim shopkeeper nor sell or rent our land to any Muslim. We Hindus pledge to buy from vendors coming to our villages only after ascertaining their religion. We also pledge to not work as laborers for them, end quote. According to some sources, this oath was allegedly prompted by an assault that occurred between the inhabitants of two different villages. Local authorities have opened an investigation into who led the crowd in reciting this oath. Is this a circle salute? Well, we can actually see the video of it below. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me get the video. I've heard circle jerks before. I've never heard circle salutes before. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> I can't stand like, it you. Look, it looks like a circle salute. Um, this is like... It is so, a circle salute. Here, I have the video. Okay. Cool. okay That's the, a big the, crowd. Good idea. They said Musalman, I heard Musalman. They're, they're, they're giving an oath not to serve Muslims? The, all these people are gathered here doing a circle salute and giving an oath not to serve Muslims. This is so... This is well, so and also to boycott them in terms of to not buy goods from anyone until you've ascertained their religion unbelievable like guys like imagine imagine a whole bunch of white nationalists in like united states a a crowd this big gathering and doing a salute and saying like they're going to boycott like muslims and not serve them or anything like that like this is a crowd they're, they're making an oath about muslims this is this is this is a nightmare what the hell is this? This is a nightmare. I mean, the whole world would be like erupting right now. Every single news outlet would be covering this if this was happening like something like this. Like this is Nashville, right? This is like India's Nashville moment, right? Like why is this not like headline news Oh, everywhere? you mean like the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville? Yeah. Like, oh, Charlottesville. What did I say? You said Nashville. Oh, Charlottesville. So, sorry. It's America. I don't care. I don't know. It's not my country. <laughs> It's not my country. I don't know where I, what, what names are. Okay. Fair uh, enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is like Charlottesville. Okay. Like, but bigger. Like, look at this. Except like, instead of the uh, Jews, they're talking about Muslims. Guys, if this was, if this was, if this was happening by white nationalists in the United States, Canada, Australia, or anywhere in Europe, this would be headline news right now everywhere. Oh my God. This is like that. there's like kids. There's like kids, guys. This is even worse. Like like in Charlotte's where they had tiki torches, right? These are doing the they're doing a salute. Like this is like they're doing a salute. I mean, I know like people are saying it's not the same salute that they do they did in Germany, but. I mean, come on, look how bad this looks. This is horrible. I mean, if you think like, if we think like we're being too, um, you know, hung up over the optics because the the salute looks like what they did in like Germany in World War II. Again, you know, Yahtzee, Germany. I'm not going to say the word because YouTube. Um, If you, but, but then, but then listen to what they're saying. (laughs) I mean, just like, yeah, that also doesn't help. That does, like, if you think the optics is not like we're getting the optics doesn't mean much to you. Then just okay, just just listen to what they're saying. Look at this kid. Oh wait, okay. Like at the end. Jai 
So what were the chants at the end? Jai Shri Ram, I know, means long live uh, Ram, which is a Hindu god. The seventh, again, I keep forgetting the um, reincarnation of Vishnu, right? Seventh or eighth? I think it was seven. But anyways, Rama, Three long Three live Rome. Seven, yeah. Long live Lord, Lord Rama. But what was the first chant that they made? Uh, it, was, it seemed like it was something about a Hindu state. No? No, I think it's just Jai Shri Ram. It's just Shri Oh, here, another one. Jai, 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 Shri Ram. Okay, okay. It's about long live, long live Rama. Parvati! Oh, yeah, so, the, oh, Parvati. Was that Parvati? Did they just say Parvati? I don't know. Anyways, never mind. But, guys, in case that a lot of people think, like, this has nothing to do with religion, you know how... What? When... <laughs> No, no, I'm just like, I'm just happy that they're like, at the end, they're also saying long live Rama, like just to make sure that this is Hindus, like this is Hinduism, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because you know how a lot of times, um, like some really radical crimes happens by Muslims, by a Muslim and they like the guys like shouting Allah Akbar. And then some people are like, this has nothing to do with Islam. And we were like, oh yeah, he was just like shouting Allah Akbar because like I don't know why like you know like how people make fun of that like how could you say this has nothing with Islam the, the guy is literally sh shouting Allah Akbar while he's doing this so we should do the same thing with, with like with this right people who say this has nothing to do with Hinduism I'm glad that they end it with like saying Jai Shri Ram just to make make it clear yeah that this is this is absolutely Hinduism well it's already pretty clear oh Victor it, sorry sorry it was it's victory to Ram not uh jai means victory not long live okay victory yeah it, or it's just like hailing hail lord yeah. rom um so i the the good news is that at least this is being investigated by the police um and they're looking into this i mean you know everyone is always very pessimistic and saying well nothing's gonna happen but i can at least say that you know they're they are they ha they are probing this um What's interesting is, so apparently this was prompted by, like, a brawl that happened between two villages, and the details were never really fleshed out in any report that I was reading about this. Like, they were saying that, um, I, I have to, I have to read between the lines, right? Because it's not very clear. So it sounded like there was, um, a group that came from one village to another village, and this group and this is based off of my own powers of deduction, are likely a group of Muslims who like burst into this person's house. Like, I don't even know what it was about, like assaulted some people, including like this, like this niece, there was maybe some sort of like official involved in the group that did the assaulting. And then afterwards, these people were granted bail. And that caused like a huge outcry and huge protest and then eventually ended up in um, like this public oath taking. Um, and so I wanted to highlight this because um, there's been a lot of, I've been reading a lot about how there's been calls for um, like economic boycotts of Muslims before, but it's usually not this bold and it's usually not this just on its face, like so obvious. Um, and and I've also been reading over time how there are many policies and more state sanctioned stuff that has the overall long term chilling economic effect of directly targeting Muslims, whether it's um, extra restrictions on the beef industry or restrictions on um, street vendors and um, their but that's much more overarching. It's something that happens slowly and it's not something that says obvious, but this is as bold and in your face as it gets. And I thought that they was worthy of highlighting this because um, it is indicative of a larger trend. Um, but like I said, usually it's not this obvious. Yeah. Thank you for all that detail. That was great. Um, I was busy banning some spam while you were saying that. We liked you. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship.
Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.